going to university, I needed time away to think about like what I wanted to do with my life and where I was headed, and I decided that volunteering was probably the best way to do it. I was thinking about working with kids and wanted an opportunity to try that out and make sure that's what I wanted to do. Rio having the beaches sort of tipped the scale, and you get to hang out with pretty decent people in the favelas as well. At work, I was you know what, I want to do something different. I want to, I want to give back. And I chose Brazil because it's like the soccer country of the world. I, I play semi-professional at home, and I figured why not come here because I'd be playing soccer like four or five days a week with kids. I'm working at the Samba School, um, so yeah, I'm making costumes for Carnival, which is awesome. I love it. I love it. It's really, really good. Just it really, um, it shows you the culture of Rio, which is one like something that I really wanted. So. Um, it's just these people are so excited about you know this this one week of the year. They learn languages. There's English, Spanish. There's sports activities, capoeira, soccer, also theater, computer basics. Daniel and I we teach English. We teach two classes a day. This area is an unpacified favela, but. It's, I don't feel uncomfortable here at all because everyone's just like so nice and welcoming and the kids love when we come every day. I teach English here, basic English. Uh, we incorporate music, art into our lessons, so it's very hands-on. Uh, the kids that I teach are very young, so music and art is perfect for them. It's a form, an outlet of expression, which is, is, is great. We're all brothers and sisters and you don't get to decide where you pop up here on this planet and so it's sort of our, like a moral responsibility to come and, come and help us as much as you can. Casa Amarillo, it's a hostel for 25 um, volunteers and people from like Ireland, obviously, Australia, um, Canada, Sweden, Switzerland, from all over the world. There's bars, cafes, outdoor gyms, um, and it's only like probably a 10 minute walk down to the city on a Friday night if you want to go to Lapa to do some dancing. I live with about 30 other volunteers. Um, they do various things like some of them work on the carnival projects, some play football, that ask them to teach English, some work in the garden, so. You can always try and go into a weekend away to Ilo Grange or to Buenos Aires or you can go to see Christ the Redeemer, Sugarloaf, so there's an awful lot to do. Well, we're very close to Lapa, so Lapa is definitely a, um, a volunteer Friday night destination. Um, the beaches are beautiful. We live in a great neighbourhood, so we explore it a lot, we hang out there. It's a perfect little place, enough to do, but enough, small enough where you get to know the people who live there and you feel part of the community. Everything that uh, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro has to offer, which is a lot. Uh, a couple days ago we went hiking in Chijuca, which is a rainforest. Um, we go downtown to Lapa, we samba, we go to the nightclubs there. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Probably how um, the people are just so like honest and they don't have um, just, they, they don't have an agenda. Um, and they've got an innocence about them that we've lost. The freedom, I think, you know, like this place is just so relaxed. In the West you worry about whether remote control is or um, how come your taxi is coming late. Whereas here you see these kids, they, they're sleeping on floors and they're coming in spotlessly clean and they've, they, they've no father, they've no father figure, no money and they're happier than I'll ever be. So if you, you definitely will learn something off them. They've got this sort of a value and a community value that we don't have. I think one of the biggest things is not stressing about which one you choose. I was going back and forth for a long time about which project I was going to do and we have met people here who have done projects IVHQ other locations and come here and they've loved all of them. There's different attributes to all of them but I think no matter what you're going to find a good experience so don't worry so much about that and just commit yourself to whichever one you choose. Just do it, like come here, have fun, like it's, it's, um, I've had some of the most amazing experiences here, I've met some amazing people and um, yeah, just, just come over and make the most of it. Just jump in and enjoy it. Yeah, you, you have fun no matter what you're doing here. Yeah, there's, there's something for everybody. I'd say um, just keep an open mind and um, be aware that Brazilians are very laid back and you have to really adapt to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Learn Portuguese. Learn Portuguese. Learn as much as you can before you come down. It will make the process a lot smoother and you're teaching a lot more effective.